Aí, oh yeah, baby! Welcome to Chef Buckhead's Crazy Kitchen! God dang! Oh yeah, baby, let me tell you what. Today I've got some gizzards going on. They're not fried gizzards, they're not boiled gizzards, they're not baked gizzards. There's gonna be no grease in these here. What you're gonna be able to do is make a decision. Now, do I want a little greasy gizzards or do I want them just, you know, a little bald and tough? Or do I want them baked and the, the skin is hard like a rock? Or do I want to do them like Chef Bouquet? Do them like me, baby. Watch what I'm doing. Today we're going to do some steamed gizzards, well seasoned. Now, once these are cooked, they take about an hour. To go ahead and steam them, and you can lay them on a plate with a boiled potato, or a boiled cabbage, or cauliflower, broccoli, whatever you want to do with it. But I tell you what, it's going to be good. Now I'm going to do these. If I have time, I'm going to show you another way to fry them, because these are so tender. I mean, you know, these you can fry at a higher temperature, 350 if you want, because they're already tender, tender, tender. But I've got a batter mix that you love. This is easy to do. And you slap that on the pole bar bun. Oh, oh Lord, it must. Let them have their steak and then drumstick and all that stuff, Shay. Hey, let's watch the show. I think I might have you pretty good right there. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. All right, here we go. <laughs> well, I can hear you what? That's my gizzards. All right. Get your gizzards out, okay? Get your gizzards out. Clean them good. Now, I'm using my own special season oil because I got special peppers in there that I like. And I got a little bit of everything in there. And I want to mix this real good. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of gizzards. Now, today I'm going to show you what I do to get a, a real good gizzard. Hopefully I got time to show you how to how to fry them up, especially, especially fry them up a special way if I have time. But anyway, in the meantime, we're going to talk about this. Get your gizzard seasoned up, lay them out. This is my little double barrel right here. This one here, I tell you what, I love, I love, I love this steamer. I can put quite a bit of stuff up here. Got the first, got the first layer going on. Put my second layer on there. See, I got little wire racks. I put in mine. You don't get those wire racks with it, but I don't know, maybe if I talk to Austin, they put some little wire racks in there like that. Not the brand I got, not the one that I got, the model. Yes, indeed, oh my baby. What I'm doing, I'm keeping them off the bottom here. That's why I got my racks. I don't want them on there. Right on there, I mean, because I don't want to block the holes going up to the second level. Nope. Now they're going to start shrinking up. You'll notice that. They'll start shrinking up as the process works. Put my little lid on there. All right. I'm going to set this rascal here for one hour. And I'll see you in an hour. Boy, I tell you what. You talk about smelling good, baby. God dang. Oh yeah, it's been on 10 minutes already. Them gizzards starting to get a little bit brown. 
And that's good. They're starting their little cooking process. Dang, that looks good. That steamer is, is operating full speed ahead, baby. Hey, I'll see you when this is done. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Let me show you a little something. Oh, that thing is steaming up. See how they shrunk up? This is how they shrink up, just like this. Doing their thing. God, it smells so good. See my peppers? Got a whole bunch of little Tabasco peppers in there. Oh, yeah. Man, I tell you, these are cooking good, good, good. I'm going to take that little piece out right here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My God, that's delicious. I'm cooking about 30 minutes. That's actual steam time. Mmm, mmm. And you know, I like seasoning, so seasoning's great. Hey, I'm gonna talk to you after a while. All right. Let me tell you a little something else we got going on. Got to take the sweat out of my eye first. All right, Paco, your girlfriend's gone. That little sweetheart, that rose-breasted Robeck from up north is out of here. So calm down. I tell you, I've never seen such a lovesick parrot. Anyway. If you decide that you want to fry these up, you went through the process, these are still steaming, and God, they smell so good. Let me tell you what you want to do. If you want to fry them up and get them even more tender, here's what you do. You can. Just get your little old pot, about that tall, you know. I don't know how many gizzards you fry them, but it don't take a whole lot. Of, of oil, you know. I got this little, I use a little peanut oil. Put some peanut oil in there. Fried some gizzards this morning, got them at three, I think I got it right at almost 300 degrees. And what I did, I went ahead and made an egg wash, and you can see that on my other gizzard video. Just, I mean, I, I went ahead, I used an egg, I used a little milk, put some garlic salt, Scrambled it up real good, dropped my gizzards in there, my seasoned gizzards in there, by the way. Matter of fact, I dropped my steamed gizzards from this morning in there, and they fried, and I fried them, and I tell you what, I went ahead and used this fried green tomato coating mix. <laughs> <laughs> You better cut it out, dog, old bird. I'm gonna put that dog on you. Anyway, I use it. <laughs> it's like my alligator clip. Oh, yeah, baby. Anyway, I use fried green tomato coating, fried green tomato coating mix. That's what I use. That's what I coated it with. And hey, my grease got hot. I dropped it in there, did a flash fry. Did a flash fry or a rush fry, or whatever you want to call it. Because the get, because whatever you want to call it, because the get that's already steamed tenderly. And let me tell you what, it fried up, bam, it was good. Matter of fact, I'm going to get one right now. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Man, every, 
<clears throat> Every time I come out here, let me tell you what. When I open up that door, the aroma coming off these gizzards is so awesome. With my spices, it is so awesome. I can just fall on the ground. Because all them spices, all that doing, all that juice is falling right back in my little reservoir and boiling back up. Alright, here's what we got going on. Like I said, I fried some this morning. This is them. You don't have to stick them in your mouth and go crazy with them. You don't have to take them and run over them with the car. You don't have to beat them with a hammer. You don't have to get a little meat chop and chop them up real good. You ain't got to do all that. These things here, look. Damn, we ain't getting none of that old dog. Mm, mm. Now I'm talking tender, yeah. Okay. That is the best gizzard. I'll tell you what. Old Calhoun Ben Mill. Fried green tomato coating mix is, is good for other stuff, yeah. If you want to coat some gizzards and fry them up. Mmm. I don't mind if I eat this in front of you, do you? Sissy, sissy, you might as well go over there and try to eat that pack because you ain't getting none of this. Don't mess with Paco. My God, that's awesome. And heck, I just had lunch. Mmm, mmm. Made me roll over, I tell you what. Made me a fried gizzard roll over. God, that's awesome. Got one piece left, but I'm gonna leave it right there for later. How y'all doing in there, boys? Boy, them gizzards just cooking up a storm. Hey, I'm gonna talk to you in a minute. When this stuff's done, we're gonna take some out, slice them with the knife. Let me show you what's going on. Well, I tell you, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy this is good. It's always good. All right, watch this. See that little gizzard? Now, I don't have my knife. I'm just gonna use my fork. And when you press down on your fork, look here. Look, I mean, what? What can I say? Mmm. All right, let me tell you, man, this stuff is good. I'm getting ready to test it out. Take a little piece out of here, you know. I hate to do this all by myself, you know, but that's the way it is sometimes. You just can't get no good help around here. What you got going on? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Look who's here. Hey. Oh, no, that time job. All right, I smell Let it. me hear you. Come on up over here, boss, so I can see you. I, I, I smell that across this road over there. You smelled it? Yeah. That's good stuff, yeah. man. Let me tell you what. I, I know your kids used to love this stuff here when it was cooked down in the gravy. Right. Smothered down with some livers and all that. On fresh rice. I know you used to tell me that all the time. I mean, you still tell me all the damn time. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, Johnny. I got it. <laughs> John, I got something for you to test out. All buddy. right. Look at this. Oh, dang, that thing is hot, boy. Man, look at this in hey, venture. Hey, man, I got something going here, boy. That's my, my uh, uh, Empire State. I'm telling you what. Two state st steamer. Two stories of food. Oh yeah, you don't never find nobody with two stories. I got one story. Let me find you something here you can test out, boss. You know now. Oh, this is good. Yeah. 
Uh, I cut, hey, I, uh, cut, I cut, I cut one while ago, Johnny, mm -hmm. with my fork. Go ahead. Hey, I'm not gonna call your hand on it. Oh no. Go ahead, man. Try it out. Let me make sure I can get you in the picture here, John. I want people to see how you do that, boy. It's hot now. Mm, you're right. Is that tender, boy? That's tender. Man, it's good. Tell you what, man. I, I, after I did that today, I ate something like that, then I did me a little, a little flash fry. And boy, I made me a roll over. Oh, 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 If you think you've heard everything, well, now we're talking about steamed gizzard flash fried roll over. <laughs> I gotta get, I gotta get another one. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's tender. Mm -hmm. I'd have to smother those a long time to get them tender. You know how long they've been steaming? Just one hour. Matter of fact, it's just not even an hour yet. 55 minutes. Man, that's a nice thing, too. Well, it saves a lot of time, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to do things at times, you know, like when I'm doing my beer or, 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 or karaoke or working at a nightclub, you know. And, and all the orders you get that people are wanting <laughs> and the stuff you cook. <laughs> I ain't got time, so I just throw a bunch of stuff in there and let it go, baby. That does it. This is awesome, let me tell you what. That is good. Let me tell you. No teeth are required to eat this stuff here. And I'll show you why. <laughs> and I'm proof of that. It don't take much tea. <laughs> oh, shit. No, Johnny, you ain't gonna try to take my teeth out of my head. No, and I'm not showing mine. <laughs> you notice I'm, I was taught to chew with your mouth closed. No, you're doing a good job, boy. Shit, go for it, man. Shit, these are good. Mm -hmm. Man, you wanna take you a few to the house? Man? I will. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's good, boy. Mm -hmm. Now you can put them on a piece of bread like that. What I'll do is I'll add a little salt in there. Right yeah, well, you there. always did. You always was a person like a little salt, like you know? A little salt. I think you was born in the salt dome. No, in the mines. In the mines, yeah. yeah. You see, I was born on the kitchen table in Abbeville, Louisiana. I can understand where you come from. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I gotta go, boy. I gotta go. Too much of this excitement going on. Look here. Here's to you, bud. You and your slits. I'm doing a little uh, red stag here, black cherry. Ooh. Well, this stuff here makes me wanna. And it's a. Ooh, yeah. Look out. Hold on. Hold on. Miss Shetty. Come on, Miss Shetty. You better try to tame it. Come on. <laughs> She said that there ain't no hope yeah. for that. She, she going to tame me down all right. She's going to beat the hell out of me. <laughs> Slow it down. Hey, talk to y'all later. Aye, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, let me hear you see it. Aye. Aye. Oh, oh baby. Hot, hot damn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>